Hello and welcome to Think in the Circle. Today we are going to look at how you communicate to a potential supervisor. I am hoping you've watched the other videos, including the one on how you prepare a proposal. So let's get started. So, here's me. I'm a potential supervisor. And that will tell me that body, big, big, and you're you. And you're sending me an email. Now, the first thing you need to think about is the subject headline. Be very clear, include your proposal title, uh, make sure you are clear that this is about a potential PhD supervision. You may end up in a junk mail uh, folder if you're not very, very careful. The second thing you need to think about is how you start the dear is it sir, madam, what is it? It should not be sir or madam. It should be dear doctor, professor, whatever the title of the person you're writing to is. And make sure you know how to spell their surname. So dear professor Smith. Okay, very important. You make one mistake and you've shown that you haven't researched that person and you're not quite sure why you are writing to them. Third is why them why not anyone else why are you writing to them is it that they've researched something that aligns to your uh, thesis or proposed thesis is it that you looked at their supervisory interests on some website and they match what you're trying to do in one line make sure or two lines make sure you are very clear as to why you are writing to them number four why you why you? What makes you so great? Now, context and project are both important. So remember that you have your CV and your proposal attached to that email, okay? Don't just send a random email saying, dear sir, I wanna study for a PhD with you. You probably will never get a response. Uh, you might want to include why this uni You might say a line showing that you have researched this particular university. And number six could be that you're telling them about the mode of study. Are you studying uh, or you wish to study as a full-time student or a part-time student? That is quite important to a potential supervisor because maybe they have too many part-time students or the opposite. Maybe they have too many full-time students and they want to balance their workload. So mode of Study. I mean, you can do that very easily in the opening line. Number seven is all about your finance. Be very clear whether you are seeking for help with the finance or you have sorted that out. If you have sorted your finance out, chances are more likely that you will receive an answer. Scholarships, sponsorships, they're all very competitive and most supervisors, they might give you an advice, um, especially if there are some programs open at that time, but it's very unlikely that potential supervisors will have time to help you uh, get the finance that you need. So you need to sort that out before you write to them. Good luck, you're gonna do great. Just take some time in planning that one email. Oh, and a final tip. Do say if you've written to other academics. Most subject areas are a small family. They talk to each other. Try to only send to two supervisors or potential supervisors at any one time. Don't do the machine gun approach and you send to 10 people, especially five or six of the same university. They talk to each other. And if they figure that you're using the machine gun approach, nobody's going to answer to you. Or at least not very favorably. Good luck.